So it's a multi-day sportive based in the mountains of Europe, either the Alps, Pyrenees, Dolomites, or in 2017, the Rockies in America as well. Alpe d'Huez, Mont Ventoux, the Stelvio, all these mountains have written incredible chapters in the history of bike racing. Many of us will know those, many of us will see the, the pros riding over them. To get the chance to ride on those mountains is a wonderful thing. And it was just that real feeling of like, this is what it's all about. This is what bike riding should be like. It's, it's the essence of, <laughs> I wish it was like this every day. because it seems like such a, such a mission to begin with. It's so far off, these seven days, it's never going to have seven days. Everyone's like that, everyone's like that. Um, it's a natural, I think it's human instinct. That's when, that's when the adrenaline kicks in. That's when your, you know, your fight or flight system takes over and it's like, yeah, I can do this. And you wake up nervous and, and that's, that's, that's as important as any part of it. Um, the unknown, not knowing if you can make it, actually adds to, adds to getting you through the event because it's, it's that, that extra shot you need just to give you that, right, we're here. All my hard work, all my training, this is what it, we're now here to, here to make it happen. Your, your body really kicks in and it responds in a way that you, 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 you never realise sometimes it, like how powerful that can be. On the start line, first time I did it, it was all about the unknown, it was about restraint, it's about riding slowly and carefully for the first day just to work out how, how tough this is going to be. Going up a hill, when you're sitting there just in the zone thinking, okay, cadence, how can I keep my heart rate under control? Pre approach the feed station and then you get all these lovely you know, nutrition products. The level of, the su of support in the Hurt Route is unparalleled. You really don't have to think about anything other than riding your bike. All your things are moved from one hotel to the next. The food during the day is taken care of. You've got to fill up your water bottle when you get to a feed stop, and that's about it. Everything else is taken care of, and on the road you've got uh, professional mechanics, Mavic support cars, safety motorbikes, ambulances, medical staff, and you make this realization that this is as good as it gets. Yeah, I still vividly remember my first my first trip to the to the High Alps. It was with a group of cycling friends in 1996 and we, we stayed near Alpe d'Huez. And just how it struck me, that the challenge of it, the, the size of these things, the, the amount of time you spend pedaling uphill and seemingly getting nowhere, it's, I'll never forget that. And um, it, was, it was such a different experience for me as a cyclist. And you just, it's very seldom that you actually get the chance just to think about bike riding, think about nature, think about the outdoors, think about mountains, think about a route, think about a good challenge. Um, they take all that sort of thought process out of it. You wake up each morning, you get on your bike, you ride, you, you have fun with your friends, you get to the end. It's, it really is, a, it is actually a life-changing experience. I wouldn't say shocked, but I was, I was really surprised at the level of detail that they went to. Um, I've been at a lot of events in the past and, and it's kind of like, right, you know, a little fast food really, in, out, there's the event, job done, but you really feel really like catered for throughout and that's the seven day period. And that for me was a really special sort of feeling, you really feel part of something. It really turns into like a family, a family thing over the, over the full week. My favourite call in the, in the Hope route is definitely um, Alpe d'Huez. It's an amazing section of road. There are all these switchbacks, I can't remember how many. And then on the road, written in paint, are these iconic cycling names. And you're riding up this mountain and you realise that the names on the road are the people who you watch on TV. And you realise that your tyres are going over exactly the same tarmac that all of the greats have gone over. And you know that you're following this procession laid down by the gods ahead of you. My advice to keep going if you're having a bad day would just be to get to the top. Once you're at the top, you can put a warmer jacket on, you can have some food and you've got a descent in front of you. Break the ride down into chunks. Don't, don't think about getting to the end that day. Once you've done that, it won't be as far to go. Keep going, keep eating, keep drinking. Break it down like that and you'll be surprised at what you can achieve. Seeing the accomplishments of everyday people, everyday riders, and just seeing everyone you know, those moments when they finish the stage, yeah, it's, it's pretty phenomenal.